Would you take a look at this? NASA approved, this is official. For those of you that have been to NASA, out here in Texas, you already know this is the official visitor's badge right now. Without this badge, you're not getting your hungry on. You're not even getting up in the kitchen. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, she made me a dame drops back in with another super official. Food of you, kid, dig it, baby. I know you can't. Hey, listen, man. It's going down right now. You knew it was bound to happen eventually. NASA came knocking. They came knocking. They were like, dame, we see you over there doing your regular food reviews. We see you on TV doing what you got to do. But how about taking it to the space game? How about tasting what the astronauts taste? How about... We don't put you in space, but we bring you to the house where all the food gets packaged. We want you to go ahead and break that down. What do you say? We're going to start with our chicken fajitas. Now you're thinking to yourself, Dame, how are you going to get inside the chicken fajitas? I'm about to show you something. They already thought about that. Look, you see this little groove right here? That's where you're going to rip it. The same way that you open up the bag of potato chips. You always look for that groove. You peel it. It makes life a little bit easy. First you want to do is push your fajita all the way down. Push it all the way down. You don't want anything busting out when you try to go ahead and break into that groove. Now we're gonna do we're just gonna just like that you see look 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 oh my oh my goodness oh it already got hostile on me hold up let me bring it back just a little bit i don't want just to bust out all over the place ah oh, it actually smells half decent there we go there we go oh ooh, ooh, there it is gonna make, ooh, ooh. look at the action look at look at the action right onto the plate blah, blah, blah. sauces all over the place chicken fajita Fresh off the bag, boom. That's just not your regular chicken fajita. It's not nothing that's gonna be bland and basic. They're going all out with all type of different flavors. Just have, look at the seasoning. Look at the seasoning on the fajita. Woo! Hit that groove one time. Ooh, there it is. There it is. Hold it just like that. And then you wanna get the fajita all up in the business. Give me a second, I'll be right with you. See how it's working out for you right now? I want you to go ahead and nibble. I want you to go ahead and get big bites in there right now. Get that action going on. Get excited. And that's a space food. It's going down. I'm going to just bite it in the middle, too. That's how I, how I get down. That was such a meaty bite right there. And, and... It was slightly spicy. I'm talking about a little bit of tingle for your mouth. A little bit of extra work in that tortilla to kind of wrap it up and bring it all home on that first bite. You're like, oh my goodness, I'm like halfway full already. It's kind of crazy the way it actually works out because when you look at it, it's rather small. From that distance, you're like, yeah, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to need like two or three or four of those things right there. Nah, you're going to be good off that first chew. A little dry. Don't think that it's not. But it's going to definitely hold you down because it's going to go ahead and hit the ribs the right way. It's going to blah, 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 blah. You're like, oh, this was amazing. Make sure you got something to drink, though, because you're going to get a little bit of that little fajita business. Fajita going to be just sitting there posted up in your throat. This package doesn't have a little groove to it. They gave your boy some scissors, little mini scissors. See a little sharp end right there? That's going to go ahead and blah, 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 poke up the bag. Pop a little corner. Mm. Once you get on the inside, you can actually start cutting. You, you remember, you remember when the teachers gave you the, the scissors in the paper, you know, second grade. You had little plastic scissors, nothing too crazy because they didn't want you to cut yourself, but they still wanted you to learn how to cut something properly. And they're like, well, go ahead, Damon, cut in the lines. And then I would never, ever actually cut in the lines. I would just cut up the whole entire paper and start laughing. The teacher would tell my mother I was being disruptive in class. She didn't lie. She was right. A little bit of that shrimp cocktail action. I probably should have started here because we all know shrimp cocktail is actually an appetizer. But me, I'm a wild guy, man. I'll just start wherever I want to start. You know, I really want to start with that chocolate cake pudding, but we'll get to that momentarily. Oh, look at the little baby shrimp. Look, 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 look. What? Little baby shrimp all up in the building right there. Just get a little bit of that sauce action. You might need two. Grab yourself up two on that fork. Ooh. They got that little crisp too. You know a little crisp snap action that you get when you hit that shrimp the first time? I'm talking about that Monster Don shrimp. You have a little bit of horseradish, you take that bite, you get that squirt, blah! I got the little squirt when I stabbed it up. That's the crazy part. These are actually freeze dried, man. Just add water, just now, right before the video, blah! So that means they were sitting there, I don't know how long, and I still got that fresh bite when you just add water. Sometimes you don't need to go all out 
go to that nice old expensive restaurant. You can keep it local, keep it basic, keep it freeze dried, and use that natural element of water. It's a beautiful thing. It tastes good too. We're gonna move on. More freeze dried fun with your main man, Dane. We have the spicy green beans, freeze dried for your face. I'm gonna go ahead and bust up into these things. We're gonna see what's happening. You know how I get down. You already know how I work out that scissor game. I'm nice. Move those spicy greens around a little bit. Ooh. Hey, look, I'm not gonna lie to you. I know what you're thinking. You're like, dang, looks like some Gerber baby food. Yeah, probably does. But we all know, as grown adults, Gerber's not all that great. For kids, it's amazing. So we're about to find out. Just because it looks like Gerber, does it taste like Gerber baby food? And what in the world is Gerber doing with spicy green beans anyway? Green bean action is in full effect. <clears throat> Take a break right now. Ooh. Spices caught me slipping. Mm. Spices kicked up. About four seconds later, those spices were hidden inside the beans. That means you were able to work around the green beans. You knew they were green beans. These are actually green beans. I mean, it's just been freeze dried. I mean, it's just, it's waiting for you. It's waiting for you to attack. So you're thinking in the back of your mind, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself some sriracha. And I'm gonna get myself some hot sauce. And I wanna get some jalapenos. And I wanna blend that all together and put it all over my green beans. You're gonna get that kind of spice that's gonna kick up a little bit later. Because the first bite, you don't taste it whatsoever. And then you start talking, and it's like blah, 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 all up in your throat. You don't know what to do with yourself except get something to drink. And I'm still holding off on something to drink. Spicy green beans, <laughs> they're a problem in these streets, and it's a good problem to have. I'm just saying I have a nice little collection of food right now that's going to hold me down. It's definitely a different life than what your main man Dame is used to, but I'm not mad about it whatsoever. Let's keep it moving. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I was sitting there fighting with the pouch for about three seconds. You know, I had to break those scissors up. Mm. Boom, boom. You have to respect it. I mean, it doesn't look half bad. It looks, it looks rather interesting for the most part. Almost looks like, you know, like fudge. You know when you go to the carnival and you're like, hey man, just go ahead and just give me some fudge in a box. Well, then there it is. There's your little fudge bite. Let's get into it. The flavor is definitely in full effect. What's throwing me off is the whole entire cake and pudding. But what's kind of funny is because I'm getting that consistency of a little bit of cake mixed in, I mean, I'm talking about like that kind of light fluffiness mixed in with the pudding. It, it, it makes sense. They call it exactly what it is. Like now I had that package that said chocolate cake and then that was the consistency of it and it was consistency of pudding. Then it would have thrown me all the way off. But because we had that, you know, happy birthday to you, I'm only going to give you a cupcake instead of a whole entire cake, you know, size mixed in with the pudding. That, that, that was something that was proper. And so now what we're talking about is we have an appetizer, we have our whole entire main course, and we have dessert. And yet, we still need to wash it down with our NASA-approved Capri Sun. You have your supersized straw inside your Capri Sun pouch. We have a little bit of orange drink going on. And uh, we're ready to take down all the food that we've pretty much broken down right here at NASA. It's your main man, Dame Drops. Hmm. So orange drink actually tastes like tang to me. And I haven't had tang since, I don't know. Uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. I'm just be kind of putting my age out there, but just let's just say it's been a long time. So we have orange drink that's like tang. And then you have your chocolate pudding cake with a little bit of consistency of cake, the softness of a pudding, extra flavor of some deep chocolate. You have your tortilla that has been wrapped up and cocooning up your chicken fajita that has that strong, meaty bite, heavy, spicy flavoring, but not as spicy as the spicy green beans that were definitely talking to my soul. It's a nice combination. If I had to rate this bad boy, this whole entire meal, and keep in mind, this is not your, you know, go ahead and stop at a five-star restaurant or, you know, go to a fast food spot type of situation. But this is for space. If I had to go ahead and break that whole entire meal down, I'm telling you right now, i definitely give it a four-piece. Coming from your main man, Damon, that's a four out of five, which is really strong. Really strong in the game. So, I want to thank NASA for actually having me out here to do this super official food review. I want to thank every last one of you that tuned in for my madness, because you know how I get down every Monday through Friday with nothing but those hustle hype food reviews. And I'm rocking out with you a long way, and I'll see you tomorrow 
with another super official. Food, if you can't dig a baby, I know you can't. Hey, listen, man.